house because I'm going to jump in. Any TikTok updates that you want to share? <laughs> um, Sorry. Listen, first of all, there's a lot of really cool, creative things going on on TikTok. And um, I think, frankly, if, if they divest or if somehow there's a prohibition, I, I do believe there'll be another platform that's not controlled by the Communist Party of China that will offer uh, those social influencers, people who make money, people who love that creativity, number one. Number two, you know, one of the things about TikTok, the Chinese Communist Party has said they would rather have TikTok banned in America than give up the source code that's in Beijing. Well, why do they feel so concerned about that? Well, they feel concerned because they can manipulate the kind of videos you see, not just cat videos, but they can manipulate it for political purposes. And think again, you know, one of the cool things about TikTok, it almost knows what you like more than maybe what you know you like. And do you really want that information residing in an authoritarian government that could use that for whatever purposes, including blackmail at some point? So we got to do a better job, let me first acknowledge, explaining the risks. The Intelligence Committee, I'm chairman of the Intelligence Committee, needs to do a better job of declassifying so it's not just, hey, trust us in the government. Uh, but there's a reason why, you know, India banned it. There's a reason why Canada, the Brits, many of the Europeans are saying, getting off the government phones. Why the Dutch recently said, if you're a person in the media, get off this, because chances are you're being spied on. But we got to do a better job of making the case.